Well, Gordo, finally, finally three points and finally feeling a bit lucky after a game. Uh, how do you feel right now? Uh, it's good. It's a weight off our shoulders. I think, uh, I mean, we've worked really hard for, you know, virtually every night this year. I don't think any of those losses you can say that we lost because we just didn't work hard. But uh, to get rewarded tonight was uh, a good feeling and against a team that you, you got to love to try and beat them, especially at home. And, um, you got a lot of guys going tonight, like you know, Yako with a couple, and Nico scores his first one, and uh, power play kept chugging along the way they have, and so it was, it was a good game, I think, for all of us. It was kind of a roller coaster, especially emotional during the game. I mean, letting up an early, an early goal, then the quick equalizer, and then it felt just like a tennis match. It was yeah. back and forth <laughs> all the time. Uh, how do you, do you experience it from the bench? Uh, I think the bench kept its cool and just kept playing. I think that was a big thing, a big focus. You know, when they score, you know, a few seconds into the game, obviously you can't let that affect the next 59 and a half minutes. So I think we did a good job of just saying, you know what, things happen, rebound, get back at it. And we were we were uh, really lucky and happy to see Nico bang that one in to, to just get us back into that game. And uh, so that was a big goal for us. But I think it was it was pretty even back and forth. They scored a couple on the power play. We scored a couple on the power play. They had a couple sort of ugly ones in front of the net, and we had a couple ugly sort of rebounds in front of the net. And it just sort of came down to who got the last break. And uh, I mean, when you're the home team and you worked as hard as we have lately, I think we were due for a, a good bounce. What does it give to the team to sc score those kinds of goals, where it's a strong net net front presence? It's just those are hard working goals. I think. Um, Everyone wants to score the sexy ones, you know, saucer pass across the ice and one time it. But this league is so good defensively. So many people are blocking shots that sometimes you got to just throw it in there and, and, and get into a game of pinball. And that's what happens is, you know, D-men were shooting pucks and Yako's in the right spot to, to get his stick free. So those count just as well as the nice ones. And uh, there's a lot of guys that made a lot of money just standing right in front and banging home those ones. So I think it's a, a good lesson for a lot of us that, I mean, Yako's a skilled guy. He's usually on the outside making nice plays, but when you go to those hard areas, you, you can get rewarded.